Okay, so the Riker won the coin toss. I'll go home a little early today. It's about 3.15 or so. And uh, gather up my wife and the toddler and see if they want to go riding around in the neighborhood. No, the toddler's going to say yes. <laughs> she never says no. I put her right up here on my lap, uh, kind of sitting against the hump and me, and then my arms are around her and put a little bicycle helmet on her, so... We're not going very far very fast. It'd be like riding a bicycle. So, that's my, uh, my plan. Go home and spend some more time with the girls. This thing needs a bath, too. Really needs a bath. It's filthy. Okay, off we go. I'm gonna have to take this bike back over to James Thorne at Thornholis and have him just play with the alignment, see if we can find some happy medium, because whatever factory zero is on this thing is just tippy. It's uh, it's like it's got too much toe in or too much toe out. It's always wanting to go this way or it's wanting to go that way. Really has a bias toward the right right now, uh, which is kind of how it was when I first bought it, and that was factory zero on the alignment. See how it, it's, I'm not, I'm not giving any input. It's doing that all on its own. It's just, it's always tracking a different direction. It never wants to go straight. Uh, so, I don't know. We had it a little bit better, it seemed like, when James worked on it. So I'm going to take it back over to him and let him try his hand at it again. Hopefully, uh, it'll be better than what it is right now. Uh, um, Kevin, uh, Bikes and Pizza rode my Riker in the Twisted Sisters uh, I don't know, a couple months ago, whatever it was, beginning of uh, November, and <laughs> he was having uh, an interesting time. He's like, whoa, 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 because <laughs> the bike was going all over the place. He's having fun with mine. It's all over the road all the time. <laughs> I mean, you'll hit a little tiny camber in the road and literally you're off on the shoulder and you try to correct it and then you're careening back the other direction. It's like riding a pinball game. Yeah, very much. Yeah, it's just constantly throwing you left, right, left, right all the time. So, yeah, it's a, it's a problem. Maybe one day I'll get it sorted. Maybe not. I might just sell it off before I uh, drive myself nuts with it. I don't know. We'll see. Sure would love it if it would track straight. Yeah, see right there. That darting, that hard dart to the right. I didn't touch the... I didn't give any input on the steering. It's just all over the place. And it seemed to have gotten worse after uh, I took it up to Broadway Power Sports and Tyler and had the new tires put on it. Uh, when the tires were really, really fresh, it seemed like it was better, but within just a couple of hundred miles, uh, it started getting this propensity for darting one side or the other really hard again. So I guess once the tires were scrubbed in and giving a little more bite, uh, it reared its ugly head again. So, I don't know if it's bent control arms on this bike or maybe, you know, the uh, frame mounting points for the control arms uh, are not quite straight. Could be bad thrust arm bushings, you know, on the control arm joints down there. I don't know. I really don't know. I just know it shouldn't behave like this because none of the other Rikers that I've ridden do this. And the other thing that this one has been doing since I got the... Uh, new sway bar installed, you know, the stiffer sway bar right after I bought it. Uh, I've got a clicking or popping in this left side uh, suspension every time I slow down. So, I don't know if that's related or if it's just coincidence, but if it's a bad thrust arm bushing, that would be one of the symptoms, is kind of a clunking with loading and unloading the suspension. And that would also cause erratic driving behavior. Oh, this thing's filthy. I don't think it's had a bath since it came back from uh, Arkansas that last trip. In fact, I, kn I know it hasn't. I didn't wash it when I came back from Arkansas. 
uh, yeah, just noticing my paint is kind of peeling off of my uh, Madstad screen over here. Uh, I don't know if it's paint or powder coat. It looks like paint. Oh well. I think it's stainless steel. It doesn't appear to be rusting. Yeah, I would give this thing a bath today, but it's just going to rain tomorrow. We're supposed to have like an 80% chance of rain. Oh well. a drunken donkey. Yeah, when I got to uh, the meetup point for the Texas Twisted Sisters ride on this uh, back in early November, uh, as soon as I parked it, the sun was shining sideways uh, across the face of the tires, the front tires, and I immediately noticed that they were really cupped and sawtoothed. I'll try to throw a picture of that up here. Uh, but I was like, yeah, well, that explains the erratic handling here. The tires are just getting scrubbed all the time, so. Something's not aligned properly. Thrust alignment with the rear wheel or toe in, toe out, something. I did notice that these uh, non-rally front tires, though, did help with cornering traction. Uh, it still has so much power and grip on the rear that you can push the front end in a corner if you're on the throttle, so it tends to understeer, but uh, these tires did help with the lack of traction in corners somewhat. I need to check my maintenance records because it's probably about time for another oil change on this thing. just will not track straight that, and that's one difference in the alignment since the uh, alignment has been redone to where it is now is before that erratic tracking uh, at high speed didn't get worse it did not get worse at uh, higher speeds it started at around you know 40 miles an hour and it was just kind of about the same no matter how fast you went but now I've noticed that at higher speeds it's much more erratic if I get this thing up over about 85, it, it's really a handful. So, I don't know. I'll send it over there to James again and let him play with it. Hell, I'll leave it with him for a few weeks. Go ride it, enjoy it. It's paid for, it's insured, knock yourself out. Fix my bike to where it handles straight and I will let you ride it as long as you want, sir. I could just go hacking at it, you know, reach down there and uh, start playing with the turnbuckles on the tie rods myself, but I don't have the laser alignment rig or any of that stuff. And with as short of a wheelbase as the Riker has, it's apparently very sensitive to even just minor misadjustments. So that's not something that you're going to be able to do, just see to the pants even uh, with a, the old ruler and straight edge trick, you know, or string measuring front and rear of the tires and all that, that's not really gonna work that well on a bike like this uh, because of the three wheel. You got your uh, thrust angle for that rear tire that's gonna drastically affect the rest of the bike. When you have a longer wheelbase, it's not so twitchy, but short wheelbase like this, it doesn't take hardly anything at all to affect it. Check my uh, mileage. I know I'm over 10k.
24 4 that's pretty bad okay so yeah that's trip that's not mileage so uh, yeah i'm at 10,490 so basically 10,500 miles i need to check my maintenance records and remember where my last oil change was i believe it was at 6,000 miles before my uh twisted sisters ride so i will have to uh get the oil change in this again i don't think it needs it until every you know, six or seven thousand miles in the book i can't remember but i try to do it at three to four thousand so that's about time thing about this alignment that I've been noticing more now uh, is when I step on the brakes it pulls to the right which kind of makes sense if it's got toe out on the right or whatever that wheel is slowing down and messing things up yeah Kevin if you're watching this vlog I miss your Riker <laughs> man yours handles so good Every time I'm tootling along on mine now, I remember the feel of yours, just the way the bars are set and uh, the straight tracking and not fighting that thing. It's really nice. I'd love to get this one to that condition one of these days. Yeah, I mentioned uh, late last fall that I was going to be road tripping the hell out of this thing after I got the alignment fixed and it was handling better. Well, you know, got the alignment fixed and the new tires and it's not handling better. <laughs> So I did go ahead and take two more, you know, long road trips with it, but I don't know, man. It's just, it's such a chore to manhandle this thing on the highway for six, eight, ten hours at a time, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 mile trips. That's kind of my average for what I like to do across the span of, you know, four or five days, whatever. Uh, but man, it's just such a challenge on this thing. Go back to the house probably pull the windscreen off of this it needs to be cleaned inside and out or front and back I should say uh, give it a little dry bath with some uh, Honda Pro polish and cleaner and uh, take the girls out for a ride 